Hello everyone, I'm Hoodie from Nation 508. Today, I will be talking about things that you should be focusing on when you are new to the game. I will divide this video into four parts. Buildings, research, resources, and investment. Let's start with buildings. When you first arrive to the game, you will see a little blue icon on the bottom left called Doomsday Recovery Plan. Do everything they want you to do in there. The rewards will allow you to progress faster. Along with the plan, you should be focusing on upgrading your main city hall as fast as you can. There are always requirements for you to complete before you can do the upgrade, so they take priority. It is always the city wall and then another building. Each time you upgrade your main hall to a certain level, you want to upgrade at least one camp and one factory to the same level. Let me explain it on an example. If you look at the factory, you will see what higher tier units need. Uh, you will need factory level 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, etc. Therefore, once your base reaches level 13, you want to upgrade one camp and one factory to level 13 to keep you on highest tier units possible. Lastly, Garage increases the amount of troops that you can have inside your fleet. Do whatever you want with this information. <laughs> Research. There are many types of research. Let's start with the academy. Which one of the four basic research trees to start with? Tough decision. I would say, let's start with development. Get yourself architecture, medical facilities and research. First aid is also good, but it can wait. Then you want to go to resources and upgrade load boost. It comes in handy, trust me. Next up, military. That is both useful for combat and all the events coming up. The biggest boost for your city is leadership. It gives the same effect as garage, which allows you to have more troops within your fleet. If you take a look at my technology, uh, this is pretty much how you want to be progressing. Just keep in mind, you want to be researching something all the time. Let's move to the garage technologies. You want load level, engine and rescue the most but uh, you will end up researching everything anyways. Next up, tower defense. You want it all, keep picking the cheapest one so it doesn't slow down your base level progression. Now, if the cost of any technology becomes too high, rather choose a cheaper alternative than to spend your resources on small upgrades. Truth is, you will get more resources as the game advances, so don't overdo it. Resources. How to get resources to keep up with the cost of every upgrade within your base? Uh, there are multiple ways how to obtain resources. It's zombies, gathering and plundering. Killing zombies is always a good idea, because not only it gives you some resources or biochemical materials, it can also drop you materials for parts that you will need later on in the game. So keep killing the zombies. Gathering, um, it's going to give you some resources, uh, but even if you are maxed out on technologies, the resources you get are not going to be enough, which brings me to the next and the most efficient method of all, and that is plunder. In this game, the defending player has a huge advantage against the attacker, therefore uh, you need to plunder defenseless cities. But how the hell will you find defenseless cities? Uh, you will have to build them yourselves. They are called farms, alternative accounts. Basically, uh, you will raise them to level 15, later on in the game to level 20, and you keep attacking them with your main city to steal all resources they have available. Uh, the concept is simple. Farms will do the gathering and your main base will do the plundering. If you want to know more about building farms, let me know in the comments and I will make a video about it. Investment In most of the mobile games, and especially strategy war games, uh, you are getting advantages by spending real money. Uh, this game is no different. I will go through the purchases you can make inside the game based on value. Uh, the most important pack to start are the monthly cards. They will give you not only diamonds, speed-ups, and super tickets, 
Uh, but they also reduce the resource cost of your buildings by 1.3 million. And that is huge. At least at the beginning. You can build almost all of the buildings to level 15 for free. No resources used. Another huge value is growth fund. Uh, you will receive unimaginable amounts of gold for this pack, along with some other bonuses. Uh, after that, all you buy is great, but not necessary. Uh, for the players who really want to invest into the game, more money. Uh, I would keep an eye out for the daily specials. The value is greater than any of the other packs, especially when it comes to troop tokens. The weekly specials offer gold packs, which are pretty valuable, and uh, the monthly packs are good for resources and super tickets. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and learned a thing or two. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video until the end, and see you guys in the next one. Hoodie out.